Right, I've just bought this excellent little Sanu chuck. It's a 80 millimeter chuck and it's a four jaw um, independent chuck. I'm gonna be using this chuck on the Myford and the um, Chinese mini lathe as a um, chuck to be held in the jaws of the other chuck. So it's a piggyback chuck. And today I'd like to show you how I made this um, back plate for it with a special lip on the back here so that it can be held in the jaws and there's no chance of it actually coming out of the jaws. It's much safer than not having a lip on there. And it's a nice sized chuck for doing very quick, um, small offset turning work on both the lathes. And off camera um, on the video, I did most of the turning work like face off and turn and I'll be picking up um, where I'm doing the register with a special trick to show you how I can quickly um, get the register to the rough size. And then I'll show you how um, you can use um, like transfer screws in the back of um, this chuck here. You only have the um, threaded uh, holes for the six millimeter Allen bolts that come with the um, chuck at the back here so there's no holes through the chuck and I'll show you how I use my um, homemade six millimeter transfer screws to actually get the PCD of the holes. Right so I'm going to take this one out of the drawers now and I've got another back plate for a um, 80 millimeter chuck which I turned some time ago and this is the same register so what I'm going to do is put this into the chuck and about a millimetre from the register diameter I'm going to put the turning tool so I can see a gap between the register and the end of the turning tool there and then I'm going to take the new billet put that one back up and just touch on the face of that um, billet and that'll give me the rough diameter for the register about a mil or two plus And that saves a lot of time when turning a register. If you have the rough diameter on there, you can just skim all the way down to that and then take the final cut from about a millimeter from the actual diameter. And now I can turn right up to that line, knowing that it'll be oversized. And then I can measure it now and take off the right amount to finish that register diameter.
about 15 thou. just going on there just a very light skin and then face down the shoulder It's a nice fit on that one. So now I can take the back plate out and do the marking out of the holes to hold the chuck onto the back plate. And the um, Allen bolts to hold the chuck onto the back plate are six millimeter thread, threaded in from the back of the chuck. There's no holes through these. So I'm going to have to use my homemade transfer screws to um, mark it out. And all of that is, is a grub screw, six millimeter grub screw, um, screwed into a certain depth. And then I've got some sharpened um, Allen key parts that fit the grub screws. Uh, tiny little ones on the six mil ones. I've got an eight mil set as well. So that's the piece of Allen key which drops into the grub screw so I put all those grub screws in there's three on this chuck screw them down so that they're roughly flush with the face of the um, back face of the chuck like that and then drop those sharpened Allen key parts into the socket of the grub screw and then I can put the back plate on the back of the chuck making sure that the register goes into the uh, recess a little bit so I can feel that's in the recess and resting on those points and then I can give it a sharp tap with a soft mallet in the center and that should mark those center punch holes ready for drilling and all I have to do is drill through with a six and a half millimeter um, drill for the six millimeter allen bolts so once it's marked like that, I get another um, ordinary centre punch in those um, small dents and just make them a little bit bigger for the drilling. And then it's simply tip the Allen key parts out. You can pull them out with a magnet. That's how small they are. Just the ends of an Allen key, which firstly is um, sharpened on the um, 
bench um, grinder and then um, sawn off to a certain length you have to get them all the same length if you can or near enough and they just drop into the socket of the grub screw and then remember to take the grub screws out the back there and like I say I've got an 8mm set as well they're either 8mm or 6mm on these Sanu chucks So now that's the drilling done, I could um, recess the back here for the allen bolts to um, sink into but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have them locating on the back face and uh, lock the um, chuck up on there like that. Make sure it's nice and clean. And I'm using stainless steel allen bolts, longer ones than came with the chuck. So those transfer screws, you can actually um, buy a set of those, but um, they're dead easy to make up. And it makes mounting a chuck on a back plate like this dead easy. So next I take the jaws out of the chuck and put them in a position on the table so I know exactly um, what slot they came out. I like to keep everything exactly the same as I took it apart. And I put this now in the um, three jaw chuck on the lathe this way in. So the chuck up against the shoulder. So this is the setup. I've got the four jaw chuck held in the three jaw chuck like this with a live centre in the back here. I've pulled my um, turning tool back a little bit more in the tool post and I've managed to hold on this diameter nicely just about so it doesn't actually go over the um, slots. And now I'm going to turn this diameter back to a certain point to leave a little um, like angled lip on the back um, diameter here and that lip will go into the slot on the back of the jaws and prevent it from coming out in use.
like that. And there you can see the lip and the slot that it goes into. So now I have a brilliant piggyback chucking system for small um, work if I need to put up something and uh, do some offset turning I needn't take the large chuck off the um, lathe I can just quickly put this one up in the jaws do the turning and then take it out again and it speeds things up like anything.